Hello? Okay, geez, that's really embarrassing. Let me start from the top. Well, 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 well. Look who we have here. Look, look at who we have here. A little baby boy trying to learn how to trade, is that right? Little baby boy, got a little crypto rug pull. We're not even going to talk about that. I'm still mad about fucking crypto, but that's not what this shit is about. First of all, have you guys heard new Ken the Ken Carson's new song? And second of all, I want to punch all of you guys in the freaking face, bro. Listen, everyone's commenting under every single new YouTube video. We want trade and transformation. Where's the trade and transformation? Guys, it was just my birthday. Oh, fuck. I didn't even text my brother for his birthday, bro. Hold on, we gotta pause this. Jeez, bro. I had to text my brother happy birthday. But anyways, back to the trade and transformation talk. Every single person, it was just my birthday, that's how I remember the shit. It was just my birthday in Arizona. I was in Arizona for like a full week, okay? So that explains the huge hiatus from Trading transformation. What do you guys want me to do? Pull out my trap ass laptop and make a trading transformation on that? Obviously, you guys are going to say yes, obviously. Well, guess what? It was my freaking birthday. You think I want to be making free? Okay, like, look, I love and I really fucking appreciate y'all. Y'all are my fucking dogs. First of all, it's really hard to make YouTube videos on that fucking laptop. Second of all, I was really fucking busy in Arizona, like doing shit that my family had planned for me. My brother had planned and my dad had planned. I was out there doing shit with them. So I'm really sorry that there's been a lack of trading transformations. We're back in Puerto Rico now. We're going to get back and uploading the shit, but I just want you guys to remember back to fucking day one, this shit has to be sustainable for me. Remember the boot camp? I got really fucking uh, burnt out towards the end. This shit is going to last way longer than the boot camp. But in order for that to even be sustainable at all, I need to be able to take little breaks F fuck it. There might even be like a full month break of me not doing trading transformation. And I need you guys to understand that so that I can keep making these videos for you. Okay. And again, I saw some people saying like, Oh, you're just making fucking vlogs and not doing the trading transformation. I thought you were only going to make trading transformation videos. No, if you go back to day fucking one, I said, I'm going to be making trading transformation videos. That is what my YouTube channel is going to be dedicated to. But on top of that, it's going to be vlogs. Okay. So vlogs is just like showing you guys my personal life and then boom, everything trading related is just trading transformation and that, and I've stuck to that shit. Okay. The vlogs, they have motivational shit. They have like other random ass shit in there. Like just talking about my life and getting you guys motivated and stuff. That's for just like entertainment purposes on only. Okay. If you get value out of those awesome, cool. That's great. But with these videos, this is mainly just to teach you guys how to fucking trade. And that takes way more brain power than just pulling out my phone and just being like, yo, it's fucking vlog day. Yo, like y'all want it? Like get after the fucking grind. Okay. These actually take time to prepare time to get after. Okay. And put some time and fucking effort into it. So hopefully you guys understand that. And hopefully you guys aren't like, don't like you have to understand that my main focus is companies and the people who are paying me for my time and then obviously like you guys are a priority for me as well but the people that are paying me for my time and the things that actually g genuinely generate me money are going to take main focus and that's been a huge thing over the past couple days um crypto has been going fucking crazy so i've been locked in on that shit for the past two days uh so Again, I'm really sorry. I'm here now. We're going to make a trading transformation video for you guys. There's going to be another one made for you guys tomorrow because I'm going to film two back to back. Okay? So strap in, lock in. We're going to add more to our strategy today. Um, and hopefully this can help you guys find some more entries. Wait. Hold on. Before we do anything else. I need you guys to hear this song, bro. Hold on. I need you guys to hear this song. Is it not working? Where is it? I need you guys to hear this song. Where is it? I need you guys to hear this song, bro. Yeah. 
this better get you in the mood. Fuck, is it not gonna work? Bruh. Technical difficulties. This better get you in the mood. I don't even care about getting demonetized because fuck it, I don't need the bread from this one. I, I let you guys wait long enough. Come on. Let's go. Let's get going. All right. We are going to add on to our strategy today. Let's get up and let's get popping. So I shouldn't have to do much of a recap of what we already know within our strategy, but today we are going to add a little bit more on how we can actually take more trades without just a liquidity sweep happening during pre-market, just a liquidity sweep happening um, right when market opens. Okay. So Do I even want to write this shit out again? Not really. Okay, but it's hard to like even, fuck it, we're gonna write it down. Fuck it. Okay, step one, what are we looking for? We're looking for a four hour bias slash trend to determine what our bias for the day is going to be. Step two, look at the one hour, okay, trend, bias slash trend, that helps us what lower to scale into. Okay, that helps us determine what lower time frame to scale into when our bigger confluences get hit. And today we are going to be talking about extra, or I guess other high time frame confluences other than a liquidity sweep that can help us take, tra take trades. Okay, so moving on from there, when our high time frame confluences get hit, we scale in, geez, kale scale into lower time frame and then four okay wait for lower time frame break of structure five wait for lower time frame third confluence whether that's a fair value gap order block breaker block equilibrium okay and then six wait for either smaller lower time frame Break of structure or up slash down candle on the current lower time frame out of the third confluence. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So that's what we have so far. Right? This is how we're taking trades. Okay. And the only thing that changes here 
is number three. Number three, it originally was wait for a higher time frame liquidity sweep, whether it's on the four hour or the one hour. Okay, and again, the one hour time frame it helps us determine whether we're scaling into the five minute or the 15 minute to look for that break of structure and to look for that third confluence. We all know that, right? So today we're going to talk about higher time frame confluences other than liquidity sweeps that can help us enter in off of trades, okay? And this should be pretty freaking simple, should, should be pretty freaking easy to add into our arsenal, okay? So let's say we are in, geez, wait, this mouse is moving a little bit too quick. Whoa. Okay, let's say we are in an uptrend on the four hour and let's say we're in a downtrend on the hourly. So from our current strategy that we know, if we're in an uptrend on the four hour, our bias is going to be bullish, we're going to be looking for longs. And the main thing that we're looking for is either going to be a four hour break of structure, or sorry, a four hour liquidity sweep or an hourly liquidity sweep to the downside, 15 minute break of structure, 15 minute third confluence, either wait for a five minute break of structure after that third confluence or just a 15 minute candle to the upside in order to execute, right? Now, with the new additions that we're putting in, we won't have to wait for an hourly liquidity sweep. It's still a possible confluence that we can take a trade off of. However, now we're going to add in four hour confluences. So let's say, we have a four hour order block or a four hour breaker or a four hour fair value gap in the hourly time frame pushes into them. Okay. That is still a high time frame confluence that we are able to scale down into once it gets hit, even if we don't get a liquidity sweep on the hourly, we can scale into the 15 minute time frame once we get into these four hour confluences. Okay. And we can see, does the 15 minute give me a break of structure? Does the 15 minute give me that third confluence filled? Does the five minute give a break, break of structure after that third confluence gets filled? Boom, execute. That's all that we're doing, okay? So on top of high time frame liquidity sweeps, we're adding in high time frame confluences, okay? And how I want you guys to look at this would be if the four hour is at not in line with the hourly, so let's say the four hours in an uptrend and the hourly is in a downtrend, we're going to be looking for four hour confluences, okay? So four hour fair value gaps, four hour order blocks, four hour breaker blocks, four hour equilibrium. We can look for price to draw in there and then once that gets hit, we can scale into the 15 minute as if we saw a high time frame liquidity sweep. Again, we're not ruling out high time frame liquidity sweeps. We, those are still extremely valid. We're just adding another piece to this, okay? So within this high time frame confluences, what does that involve? That involves liquidity sweeps, that involves four hour order blocks that includes four hour fair value gaps that includes four hour breaker blocks, equilibrium, all of that. Okay. So that's when the four hour is in an uptrend and the hourly is in a downtrend. Okay. Same situation as all of this, except instead of just waiting for a liquidity sweep, we are able to use four hour confluences. Now, what happens if we are in an uptrend on the four hour and an uptrend on the hourly? Well, again, just like here, we don't necessarily have to wait for an hourly liquidity sweep or a four hour liquidity sweep to scale into the five minute. Now, when both, both the four hour and the hourly are in line, we can look for hourly fair value gaps, hourly order blocks, hourly breaker blocks for price to draw into. And then when we get in there, we can look for a five minute break of structure, five minute third confluence fill, either a one minute break of structure out of that third confluence or just a five minute candle to the upside and execute. Boom. So all that we added today, is going to be the ability to take trades off of not only liquidity sweeps, but also higher time frame confluences while still literally keeping that same systematic strategy that we already have. So our high time frame confluences are again still high time frame liquidity sweeps, but now we have high time frame fair value gaps, high time frame order blocks, high time frame breaker blocks, high time frame equilibrium. And when those get hit, we can scale down into our lower time frame, wait for that lower time frame break of structure, wait for that lower time frame third confluence, wait for that either smaller time frame break of structure, okay, or just an up or down candle 
on the current lower time frame out of the third confluence. Okay, so again, we'll, we'll show this one more time with a downtrend. So let's say we're in a four hour downtrend and the one hour is in an uptrend. Okay, since the four hour and the hourly are opposing, okay, and the four hours in a downtrend, we want to be taking shorts, okay? Let's say there's a four hour fair value gap right here and price already drew into it. Let's say we don't end up sweeping hourly liquidity to the upside to cause us to look for shorts. We can simply look for a 15 minute break of structure, a fill of a third confluence on the 15 minute because we're within a four hour confluence, okay, to look for price to move lower. Okay, and then one more time, if we're in a downtrend on the four hour and the hourly is in a downtrend, we can simply look for hourly confluences, okay, for price to push into an hourly fair value gap. And again, possible hourly liquidity sweep, possible four hour liquidity sweep, um, possible hourly break, uh, breaker block, possibly, possibly an hourly order block for us to scale into the five minute, get a break of structure to the downside, look for that third confluence, and then either look for a one minute break of structure to the downside or just wait for a five minute down candle for us to execute. Cool, cool, perfect. We're adding to the strategy. Hopefully this helps you guys, um, I guess give, give you guys more setups throughout the day um, and throughout your trading day because originally it started off with us just being able to take trades purely off of liquidity sweeps. We don't necessarily want that. Okay, we want to be able to take trades for the most part, whenever price gives us a high probability setup and we are just adding on to that today. So that being said, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Okay, sorry for the little trading transformation hiatus. We're back, we're in business. All right, I'll catch you. I will catch you boys tomorrow because I'm about to film another little video right now. All right, peace out boys.